What's going on people? We are Tottenham TV here for a breaking news update. As per pretty much every reliable wow. journalist on the internet right now, Dimazio, Romano, Agaresti, um, and literally just name them and they're all saying it. Everyone is saying that it's one step away from happening. Daniel Fonseca looks as though... Paolo. Paolo. I don't even know his name, you know <laughs> what I mean? Daniel Fonseca was the old Argentinian player, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. But Paolo Fonseca, the old Roma manager, oh the guy God. that got sacked from Roma last season is one step away from being Tottenham manager. It looks as though it's 99% uh, done. This uh, has moved it, quickly, man. Yeah, <laughs> that's what all the, everyone's saying. It's 99% done. And uh, I don't know how to feel about it, to be honest. I just don't know how to feel. It's um, it's a guy that got sacked from Roma last season. We've pretty much swapped managers with Roma now. They've got Jose Mourinho. We've got Paolo Fonseca. I just don't know how to feel about it. I mean, Agarelli, we've been speaking to Agaresti in the last um, half an hour, and he's saying he's not one of the top, top managers, but it's a smart appointment, is what yeah, he's saying. And apparently, um, Paratici knows him. Paratici um, believes that he's a very good coach, and this is Paratici's choice, and that's what we asked for. We asked um, for someone else to take over the footballing decisions. And that's what's happened at the end of the day. So can we be too angry about it? You know, you, we make up and we have to line at the end of the day. I don't think people, obviously, it's going to look like it's a Daniel Levy choice because he's cheap, he's on, he's available, um, he uh, he's like a middle-of-the-road kind of manager. But the fact of the matter is, we've brought in a director of football and we've demanded he get full reign on footballing decisions. And this is apparently his choice. So, look, I don't want to, I don't want to um, kind of damn him before he's even started the job. I feel like it's going to have a very, very negative reaction, this appointment, because we've been linked to the likes of Conte, Pochettino in the last couple of weeks. And being able to get those uh, managers over the line for one reason or another, um, for probably our own reasons, to be honest, probably Tottenham's fault. But if he does, if this is a guy, we need to give him a chance. We need to Look. give him a chance to, to, to achieve. Obviously, it's not the most inspiring appointment. Definitely not. But uh, he's not an awful, awful manager. Look, it's not. Look, of course, we've got to give him a chance. Of course, he, he's going to get our full support from the moment he steps through the door. But he was linked with us right at the beginning of our manager search. And both of us completely said, no, we don't yeah. want him. We don't want him. We don't want him. And I still don't want him. Of course, once he steps through that door, we got to give him our full support. But it's a very underwhelming appointment. It's a very it's underwhelming true. appointment. Guy was sacked not long ago from Roma, you know what I mean? For underachieving. And um, he finished seventh this year. They're in the conference league next season. Um, they appointed the manager we sacked. Uh, to replace him, and now we've got their manager, so, so it seems he finished last season fifth with Roma, so he got Europa League, this season he faltered a bit, so it's very uninspiring, he, he, was, he, did, well, he did well at Shakhtar before Roma, got to the last 16 in the Champions League, which is pretty good for them, um, and he won the league a couple of times, and he did alright at Braga as well, but other than that, it's just uninspiring. I mean, the only thing that I think is going for us in this appointment is is this is um, Paratici's man. It's, par it's probably not his first choice, but from what's available, it's his man at the end of the day. And obviously they know each other. And that's what Agresti was saying to us. He wants to bring in someone that he knows. And he knows him. He yeah. knows him. So, I mean, that's going to work in our favour. They're going to work well together, hopefully. They'll bring in some players to the club that, you know, they can work together on. I guess it's better than him bringing in someone that he doesn't know. I mean, that's the only thing I can kind of cling on to right now. Yeah, it's very strange. Look, he is still, um, despite having quite a few jobs in management, he's still a fairly young manager. So maybe, you know, he has time to have improved from where he was maybe last year or whatnot. But it's it's just from where we were in terms of a week ago on the brink of signing Conte. And now we're going for Senko, uh, Fonseca because I'm assuming Fonseca's more, uh, his demands are less. And then that's it. He's probably not, not doesn't cost as much in wages. His demands for transfers are less. He's more willing to work. He's more sees this more as an opportunity for him rather than something that, he, that can ruin his reputation, like Conte saw it. So it's more appealing to it's more appealing to Levy and um, it's very appealing to Fonseca to kind of fail upwards in a way, get mm. sacked from Roma and get a bigger job or mm. uh, at least fail sideways at mm. the very least. So he'll be delighted uh, with his, with this opportunity, but. I think there'll be a lot of backlash to this. Look, it's a very underwhelming appointment. When we're talking about Conte, Pochettino, even Jose Mourinho, to bring in Paolo Fonseca is very, very underwhelming. But it goes to show uh, how much people actually know. There's no ru real rumours about him in the past there few weeks. There was right at the beginning of the yeah, week, though, saying, even In the past few weeks, though, there's been no rumours about it. Like, no, no one's saying it's close. But there was no talks. Paratici came in in the last few days and he picked his own man. 
I know, but where, but all of a sudden it's like gone from zero to he's it's a done deal. Well, that's what it was like with Conte. That was like with Poch as well. So yeah. maybe maybe we should not speak too soon. But then again, I don't think anyone. Yeah, it's true. But the people who said he was that um, Conte was a done deal was like talk sport and that people. Like mm. Demarzo always said like talk to advance. But he never said done deal. He's saying yeah. now he's on the brink of signing a three year deal. Like mm. it's nearly done. Other 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 outlets in Italy are saying it's nearly done. Agaresti, who we spoke to on Instagram, he said it's ninety nine percent done. So this seems like it's very, very close to getting over the line. Like out of nowhere, it's just bam, it's, it's nearly a done deal. So well, it look, seems like this is the guy. Look, let me know in the comment section below, guys, what you guys make of this. What do you make out of Paolo Fonseca coming in as the new head coach at Tottenham Hotspur? We'll do a live call in show tomorrow morning uh, with all you guys to get all your opinions. But do let me know in the comment section below. Uh, there's been, also been some other news today, hasn't there, about Marcus Turam from Build. Saying, yeah. um, or from saying, RMC, from RMC and Build, that we're both talking about him. Build was saying that he's got a 30 million euro release clause, and RMC are saying that Spurs are in talks with him. Uh, advanced, advanced uh, Mohamed Bahufsi said, Spurs, Bahufsi, Bahufsi, Bahufsi. He said, um, Spurs are in advanced talks with uh, Lilian Turam, and he's definitely leaving Marcus, Gladbach. Lilian's his dad. Oh, <laughs> Marcus Turam, sorry, Marcus. Um, he's on, he's on the brink of uh, not on the brink, but Spurs are. Uh, in talks of him um, at the moment, and he's definitely leaving um, Gladbach this summer. That's that's what he's saying about the Turam deal. So we have to wait and see on that one. Obviously, that'd be a great deal because he's, I think, a six foot three winger who's so much pace, so much quality. So hopefully, we can get that one over the line. And maybe that's all matching up with Fonseca. Fonseca wants Turam. Maybe this is all uh, linked, but we'll have to wait and see. So. Main point is, looks like Fonseca's a new manager. Yeah, so the point of this video, Fonseca looks like he is going to be confirmed as new manager over the next couple of days. Marcus Turam, uh, apparently we're talking with him at the moment. He's got a 30 million euro release clause. And also, which we didn't bring you today, is Marcel Sabitzer. Uh, looks like he is out on the way out of RB Leipzig and uh, asking P there is 15 million pounds. Yeah, so, I mean, that would be a great deal if anyone gets over the line. And hopefully we can steal a march on the competition there, but... Again, he's at the Euro, so even Turam's at the Euro, so yeah. I find it hard to get the uh, to believe these deals be well, done. We signed Didier Zakora when he was at the World Cup. I know that was what two thousand six. Yeah. You know, it's different day, day and age now. Uh, do you remember that when he was holding up the Spurs scarf? Yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> that was class. <laughs> Spurs community massive. If you know, you know. <laughs> but look, that is the news we have to bring to you today. Fonseca looks like he is the new Spurs manager. Turam and Sabitzer both linked with Tottenham Hotspur. Both absolutely brilliant players out of that as well. So I would welcome them both with open arms. Fonseca, the jury's out. I've got to do a bit more research on him tonight and then I'll bring you some. We'll bring you a good morning Tottenham and a call-in show tomorrow morning. But that is the news. Let me know in the comment section below uh, what you think think of Fonseca, like, subscribe and comment and as always, come, come on you stars. stars.